for us today. Hey man, let me know where you're watching from, friends. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so exhilarated. I don't know if you could see and feel the joy that's exuberating from my face, from my being. Amen. But it's good to see all of you. It's been a tremendous, fabulous last few days. Let me tell you, the Lord is doing mega, mega great things. So I got a word to share over you today. I believe today on 11-11, of course, today is also Veterans Day. Amen. Um, there is a word that I want to release over your life today. Praise the Lord. Today is Veterans Day. So we want to say thank you and God bless you to all of our U.S. military and veterans, to all of those that are in service for our wonderful, beautiful country called the United States of America. Amen. Well, let me know where you are watching from. Man, I'm so excited. I'm telling you, God is moving very powerfully here. Oh, we got two people from Hawaii. We got Honolulu and Eva Beach. Praise the Lord. Well, I'm very excited to see you. Hello, Philadelphia. Susan, good to see you. Child the most of Norfolk, Virginia, Susie, Maryland. Hey there, Carolyn. Keith Walker, God bless you from Oakwood, Georgia. Glory be to God. Man, I'm overflowing and bubbling, let me tell you. I'm here in Seoul, Korea. Uh, actually, in the region of Paju, excuse me. And literally, uh, the Osandri Prayer Mountain of Dr. Young Yi Cho is about 20 minutes from here. But we've been staying here at the hotel, so in a few minutes, uh, I'm going to be heading out over there. I'm so excited, my goodness. Let me tell you, the Lord has been moving very powerfully. First and foremost, I want to thank all of you for your love and your prayers because, I mean, what God's doing here is unprecedented. Unprecedented. And um, I did post something just a few hours ago. But uh, last night there was a, a woman. There was a woman, she was pretty, she had a stroke. And um, actually not a stroke, I think, but had Parkinson's for the last three years and was not able to stand or walk, etc. Yesterday she gets out of the wheelchair and she begins to run, lifting up her knees, begins to run, runs around the whole building. I mean, there was about 50 people, 50 people that were in line yesterday <clears throat> testifying <clears throat> of the healing, miraculous power of Jesus that flowed through their body, that flowed through their life just yesterday. Just yesterday in the evening session. Hey, if you hear me clearly, can you give me some hearts and likes? Amen. I know I'm outside in the balcony here. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, but I do got my AirPods on, so I hope you could hear me clearly today. <clears throat> if you hear me clearly, give me some hearts and likes. Salem, Oregon. Praise the Lord. Like I said, um, we're here in Korea and the Lord is moving so powerfully. And I feel so blessed, so humbled, so honored that my father's here. Uh, him, uh, he, he planned a trip to Korea from the Philippines, separate from my trip. And he planned his own trip to hear uh, to Korea for the Philippines. And it just happened to coincide at the same time. And I, I'm sure you saw my Facebook post, but my father uh, being uh, with him and having him around has been a blessing. And I know he, he's very proud of me and it's just been a blessed, beautiful, powerful time. Uh, and even this morning, uh, we had uh, breakfast together and uh, just, you know, chopped it up and chatted it up uh, before uh, we got ready and before we're preparing for our morning session. So I will be ministering this morning and I will be ministering this evening. But let me tell you, there were 50 people in line yesterday uh, testifying that they got healed last night. I mean, incredible. Miracle signs and wonders. And the people of Korea are so hungry. They're so hungry and so ready. They're so hungry and so receptive. And I'm so shocked to see what the Lord's doing, let me tell you. But let me tell you, today is the day of 11-11. And uh, I know some countries, I'm in Korea, it's 11-12 now. But I know many of you watching, it's 11-11. And I believe that there is a double-double blessing that's being released over you. There is a double-double blessing, a double portion blessing that the Father wants to release over your life. Amen. If you're with me today, say amen. And I believe God's going to release a double-double anointing, a double portion blessing. We are the double portion generation. Remember, it was a double portion 
that threw down Jezebel. It was a double portion that saw the overthrow of every high and lofty tower of the enemy. It was a double portion, see double portion. It was a double portion of Jesus Christ that caused you and I to continue to go forth in the name and the glory of Jesus Christ. So it's a double portion. So I believe God is with some double portions, double for a trouble. And today on 11-11, now 11 is a very special number for me personally. Uh, especially whenever it's 11-11. Now, I don't know about you, but I see 1-1-1 often or 11-11 often. And whenever I see 11-11, to me, it means double transition. I want to say double transition. To me, whenever I see 11-11, it means double transition. Do you know why? Because the Hebrew meaning of the number 11 is actually transition. <clears throat> 11 is transition. And that's why on 9-11, September 11th, all right, and I know some of you can think I'm a little spooky, a little crazy, a little too mystical. But that's why on 9-11, there was a terrorist attack in the United States. Because on the 11th day of September, the 11th stands for transition. So today is a day of double 11 or double transition. Amen. So 11-11 uh, stands for double transition. It also means double doors of blessing. Double doors. Some say double doors. Let me tell you, friends. I mean, yesterday... Uh, I received double good news. Someone say double. Yesterday, uh, it's 11, 12 now, uh, where I am today. It's Saturday in Korea. But yesterday on 11, 11, I received double good news. Someone say double. And I want to prophesy that you're about to receive double good news. You're about to receive a double flip, a double switch. You're about to receive the double portion. You're about to receive the double blessings of God. You are about to experience the double for your trouble anointing because this is the season where God is going to release double over your life. Somebody say double. So I believe right now we're in a season of double, double. And even today, the reason why I'm doing this, hallelujah, this Facebook, live in this broadcast over you over the balcony on the 20th floor here in Korea. The reason why I'm releasing this blessing is because I believe that today on 11-11 God is releasing double doors of blessings over your life. Double transition. Double for your trouble. He's releasing double. I want you to say double. He's going to release double over your life. And yesterday I, I want you to hear this because on 11-10 on Thursday I was supposed to minister uh, on the evening session. But guess what? Right before I went to minister, the elders and the overseers of the prayer mountain, they had a, a you know, a, an urgent and emergency meeting with myself and our hosts. And as they met with us in the room, in the pastor's room, and I'm sure many of you have seen the photo already. And as they met with us, hallelujah. And, and please excuse my blinking because it's a little bright outside. I wish I had my sunglasses <laughs> right now. But, but uh, um, as we met with the pastors, the pastor said, listen, we received an email, we received a letter uh, where Pastor Ben, that you are doing these different types of necromancy practices, that you are, you know, doing these type of magical witchcraft practices. I'm like, the devil is a liar. Now, first and foremost, I want to talk to you because there are about four or five heretic hunter videos about me on YouTube. And these sad low lives, good for nothing people who think they're so, uh, it's so right and so self-righteous and pious. These people, you know, they have four or five Heretic Hunter videos about me on YouTube. And I asked my board, I asked the Lord, I asked myself, God, should I defend myself? Do I need to make a rebuttal video? I mean, do I need to tell my side of the story, tell my side of the truth? And as of now, my board and my lawyer, my legal team, I said, no, you don't, Pastor Ben. So I said, okay, then I'm just going to let it be. But some people think that they have the gift of suspicion. And they think that they're so discerning on YouTube and social media. And they think that they can trust these type of John MacArthur right, reformer, Bible bashing, bullying. They are right and everybody else is wrong. Oh, look at, you know, these people. And, you know, and they mock the Holy Spirit. And they blaspheme the Holy Spirit. They blaspheme the Spirit of God. And so, you know, these people, there's, there's about four or five videos about me. And I guess I'm telling myself today publicly. It may be the first time I've ever done so on social media. But uh, these people, I mean, I can't believe some people think that I'm some kind of necromancer. Or I'm some kind of grave sucker or I worship the dead. Are you kidding me? I love Jesus. I believe in the Bible. I believe in the word of God. That's it. Hands down. Yes, we believe in honor. Yes, we honor the Lord and we honor 
our fathers and mothers of the faith, our grandmothers. And uh, as we stand in honor, uh, our grandparents, our grandparents of our family, then the Lord will begin to bless us because there is a blessing in honor, because there is a release of impartation in honor. I want to say honor. So some people are so easily behooved and so easily fooled. And, you know, they're believing in these false videos about me, these false allegations about me, these heretic hunter videos. So here I am yesterday, backtracking. Here I am. I'm at the office of the pastors and the pastors are overseers of this um, prayer mountain. They pull me aside and say, Pastor Ben, we're so sorry, but we received this email and uh, you cannot minister here. We're not going to allow you. And we received this email, this letter from the higher up and we're not going to let you minister. Now, the wisdom of God. Yesterday, one of my legal team members, uh, Dr. Bimi Song was here and she was representing me. She was with us in the meeting. And then this morning, say today, on a, uh, which was yesterday, 11-11. On 11-11, there was a turnaround. On 11-11, there was a breakthrough. My father arrived. My father, Papa Lim, he's also a doctor. My father arrived, Shakaraba. And my father, myself, the host of our conference, we met with the pastors and the leaders and everything got turned around. I want to say turn around. Everything got turned around, but not just that. Let me tell you, as my father began to defend me, as my father began to tell them a little bit of my story, as my father began to talk to them about who I was and that these allegations were false, these people were quiet. They were silent. And not only that, but they began to act all buddy-buddy and all friendly. The Lord will turn your enemies into friends. The Lord will turn some of your enemies into your biggest promoters, into your biggest fans. Are you hearing me today? If you hear me today, I want you to give me some hearts and likes. So as we're in the meeting and in the office, the pastors began to take photos with us. They took, began to take photos of them. And then guess what? The overseer of the whole prayer mountain said, well, next time you come, Pastor Ben, you're going to have to preach at the bigger sanctuary, which seats five plus thousand people. Boom. So all of a sudden, the day before, they're trying to shut me down and shut me up, believing in these lies and false allegations. And in the next day, someone say next day, in the next day, literally 12 hours later, we get a turnaround with the presence of my father there. And boom, we get a turnaround. And now they're saying, in fact, next time you come, we want you to preach at the bigger sanctuary that seats 5,000 plus people. Some shout hallelujah. Now that was one breakthrough that happened. And why is that so important? Because the Korean people are so stubborn. We as Koreans, I'm Korean American, but the Korean culture people are so stubborn. And a lot of Koreans are very herd-like which means that they, they do group think, group think mentality. They go with the mob, they go with the crowd, you know? But then there was a turnaround in Jesus' name. And here in this country, this is, I want you to say amen. This is my inheritance. And here today, I want to talk to you, follow me. Deuteronomy 11.11. 11. Here on 11.11, 11, are you ready to receive the double-double blessing? Are you ready to receive the double transitions, the double doors of breakthrough, the double doors? Amen. So Deuteronomy 11.11, 11, praise God. Deuteronomy 11.11. 11, let me read this over you. And if you're with me today, say amen. Shatarabah. Deuteronomy 11.11. 11. But the land you are going over to possess. Hallelujah. Oof. I, I felt the glory of God. But the land you are going over to possess is a land of hills and valleys, which drinks water by the rain from heaven. Amen. Look at this, people of God. I want you to hear this. The word says, the land you're going over to possess. This is the year 5783. This is the year of 2023. This is the season for us to possess the ground, for us to possess the land. This is the year, 2023, 5783. This is Deuteronomy 11, 11. This is the year for us to possess the ground, possess the land. Ishkarabrata. You are going to possess in this 11, 11 anointing of Deuteronomy. You're going to obtain 
occupy, own. Come on, this is a year of ownership. God's going to give you the land. God's going to give you dominion. God's going to give you authority. The Spirit of God is going to give you what is rightfully and truthfully yours. Can I get a hallelujah? This is the year and the season. And even today, today on 11-11, are you hearing me, friends? Today on 11-11, Shekarabate, you are going to receive a Deuteronomy 11-11 anointing. Double blessings. Double portions, double transition, double doors are opening up for you with Jesus' name. So I'm saying amen. And let me tell you, I experienced this huge turnaround at the prayer mountain where Dr. Yonggi Cho, literally the revival of Korea took place. My goodness. Dr. Yonggi Cho, he led the largest church on planet earth called Yoido Full Gospel Assembly. He led the largest church in the world. And the prayer mountain was the bedrock of it. I feel the Holy Ghost. And here I am. I experienced an overturning. I experienced a breakthrough. A turnaround on 11-11. Somebody shout hallelujah. Don't tell me that's not God. Don't tell me Jesus is not a miracle worker. Don't tell me that this is an accident. Or this is a coincidence. It definitely is not. It is a divine alignment. A kairos moment with heaven above. And if I receive that breakthrough on 11-11, I want to release that breakthrough over you today in Jesus' name. If you receive it, say amen. And guess what, friends? I'm talking about the double. Because I experienced that breakthrough today where the enemies, these pastors, were saying, we're not going to let you preach. But the next day, today on 11-11, the next day, they said, all right, Pastor Ben, now we want to be your friends. Can we take some photos? Can we take some selfies? And not just that, but the next time you come, we want you to preach at the bigger sanctuary of five plus thousand people. Somebody shout hallelujah. But guess what? That's not it. Because God is the God of double. He's the God of double glory, double power, double fire, double recompense in Jesus' name. And guess what? Yesterday, I received a very sweet deal yesterday. Now, I know a few days ago when I was on my Facebook Live, I told you that something big just happened in my life, something great, incredible. Now, I'm not allowed or released to share it publicly yet, amen? But let me tell you, these people have given me a beautiful, sweet proposal, and it is double of what I expected. It is double of what I expected. But let me tell you, I've been working on this. I've been working for this for three years. We've been going back and forth with one of my agents. We've been going back and forth three years, three long years. When is this going to happen? When is this door going to open? When is this going to take place in my life? Why the warfare? Why the delay? First, these people said they're interested. And then they said no. First, these pe people said, okay, yes. And then no. And then what's going on? And then COVID. And then the front foundry and all this nonsense begins to happen. <laughs> and let me tell you, yesterday on 11-11, I woke up to some wonderful news. That these people are offering me, proposing to me double than what I expected. Someone say double. I need you to give the Lord some. Praise and some likes with some hearts. My goodness. I feel the Lord right now. Zavara Totorobra, I feel the Lord right now. Jesus. And these people are proposing double from what I expected. Someone say amen. Let me tell you, church, today on 11 11, somebody said it's 11 12 in Australia. I understand. It's 11 12 for me here in Korea. So I guess I'm prophesying over our friends in the United States right now. But let me tell you, if you're in the spirit, and if you are connecting with this broadcast now, then you can also receive, because it's not too late for you, amen. Let me tell you friends, God is releasing double right now. He's releasing double free trouble, double glory, double harvest, double miracles, double impartation, double rivers. He's releasing the double glory of God, double for your trouble, amen. Remember Deuteronomy 11, 11. I am giving you this land and you will possess it. Are you ready to receive lands, spaces, rounds, open doors, invitations? Hear me now, invitations, countries. And guess what, friends? I need you to hear this because next year, I'm telling you, man, 
my goodness. Y'all keep your boy Dr. B in prayer. My goodness. We are going to come out. We're going to start off 2023 swinging with the momentum and the glory, the unstoppable breakthrough we've been, the waves of revival we've been riding. I mean, just last night, we had 50 people, 50 people standing in line testifying about how they were healed last night. Glory be to God. I'm telling you that mantle of Dr. Yonggi Cho, I receive it, God. I receive it. That mantle of prayer, church planting, apostolic revival, that mantle of governance, I receive that over my life. That mantle of Dr. Yonggi Cho. Amen. I receive that in the name of Jesus. And the fact that my father was there yesterday and he's still here today. The fact that my father is being honored. My father is seen with his eyes as a proud dad, as a proud family. Amen. Double in your family. Double recompense. Double restoration. Double, double, double over your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Is it getting too bright for you guys outside here? Love it. The sun is rising. But today on 11-11, or maybe wherever you watch from 11-12, maybe you're going to watch the replay. I believe God is going to give you possession of the land. New op opportunities, open doors, new spaces, new invitations, new contracts, new donors, new supporters, new helpers, new friends, new pathways, new routes. Amen. New miracles, new glory, new everything. Double, double in Jesus' name. If you receive it, say amen. Now, I want to end with this here. Praise God. If you're receiving today, I want to say amen. If you're happy to be here, say hallelujah. Shoo. Isaiah 61 verse 7. Because you got a double dose of trouble. And this is from the message version, which is very interesting. Glory to God. Oh, the sun is beaming now. Because you got a double dose of trouble and more than your share of content, your inheritance in the land will be doubled and your joy will go on forever. Now, isn't that a good word? Your joy will go on forever. You shall receive a double inheritance in the land and your joy will go on forever. If you receive it, say amen. Now, friends, that is the double for your trouble anointing. The double, double, the double bubble. Amen. Now, I believe in the season. God's going to release more than double. But today on 11, 11, 11 in the Hebrew stands for transition. And double 11 stands for double transition. It also stands for double open doors over your life. Amen. God is going to release double over your life. Double portions. Double inheritances. Whatever warfare. Whatever witchcraft. Torment. Trauma. However years of waiting. Whatever you experience is not in vain. It is not in vain, friends. He's releasing double. Whatever you've been experiencing, whatever you have been experiencing, whatever you've gone through, it's not in vain. I just want to encourage you. If God can do it for me, He can do it for you. Let me tell you, this is a genuine miracle story. A beautiful miracle story. My father came in yesterday and everything changed. Revival is the father's arrival. And when my father came in yesterday and stood up for me, defended me in front of those Korean pastors, there were silence. And now these pastors said, next time you come, Pastor Ben, we want you to preach at the bigger sanctuary. Five plus thousand people. Some say amen. Whatever shukarabate, whatever you've experienced, whatever you have gone through, shh, is not in vain. There is a greater glory. There is a double portion anointing for you. There is a double double for you. And I want to release that over your life. This is Dr. Ben Lim here. 
overlooking Korea, literally 20 minutes away from me, is the prayer mountain of Dr. Yong Gi Cho, where I've been ministering for the last two days. I'm, I'm gonna minister now in the morning session and even in the evening session. There were over 50 people standing in line yesterday, testifying that they got healed. Amen, glory to God. And I wanna to prophesy to you and release the blessing of the Lord, the impartation of God's favor over your life. Amen, this is Dr. Ben Lin. Lord, I thank you for the power of God. Bless your people. <sighs> Lord, I thank you that this is a day of Deuteronomy 11, 11. This is a day of double doors of destiny, double transition, double honor, double glory, double miracles, double harvest, double fire, double encounters in Jesus' name. Do not weep, do not cry about the warfare, the attacks, misunderstandings, the pits, and the prisons that you've had to go through. But God is going to raise you up and seat you in the palace. Someone say amen. Lord, thank you and bless your people today. Hallelujah. If you receive it today, I want you to say amen. On this day of 11-11, expect double transition, double blessing, double breakthrough, and double glory, and double honor. If you receive it, say amen. Give me some hearts and likes, friends. God bless you. Thanks for watching in today. I'm going to be ministering to right now in the morning and in the evening. Oh, hallelujah. But let me tell you, I'm... I feel the goodness of God. It is Saturday. It is Shabbat here in Korea. All my life you have been faithful. I feel the goodness of God. Amen. Are you glad you jumped on a broadcast today? Are you happy you came on the broadcast today? Jesus. If you receive it, say amen. Give me some hearts and likes. And please continue to pray for me. Because today is our last big meeting here. So I'm I'm expecting double, double. I'm experiencing even more today, man. And not only that, continue to pray for me for what God's doing. And I appreciate your love and prayers. And remember, friends, the Lord is with you and is on your side. Amen. Share this video. If you received from the Lord, if this blessed you, please consider sharing this video. And as well... Uh, consider giving this page a like, a follow, a subscribe. Let me show you a little bit of uh, what we're working with here. Look at that. Amen. It almost reminds me of Tel Aviv in Israel. And by the way, we are going to Israel next year in the month of September. So y'all get ready. Amen. Look at that. Glory be to God. Shandalalalaba. On the 20th floor here. Amen. And to all of our veterans. Our U.S. military. Thank you. And God bless you. We love America. We love all of those that serve. That have laid down their lives. Thank you. God bless you. Love you. I know the VA and the government and the Biden inflation. And the whole Biden administration. Is a whole clown show and circus. I'm so sorry. It breaks my heart. But let me tell you, we're going to see a turnaround. Or we're going to see a breakthrough in Korea, in Australia, in South Africa, in the Philippines, in the United States of America, in Canada. We're going to see a great breakthrough. Double, double, double for your trouble in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. I just see, I just saw Apostle Stephanie Mines jump on. Uh, God bless you, woman of God. Good to see you, my friend. Glory be to God. Love you, friends. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here. Thanks for watching today. Thanks for jumping on. Today is 11-11 in the U.S. And I'm releasing a double-double anointing over your life. Double free troubles. Deuteronomy 11-11. Amen. God bless you. Love you. See you soon. And ciao.